Hey guys, welcome to Solo React Talk. Today I'm going to be reacting to Prototype 2 gameplay walkthrough done by FK Ice and Fire. If you want to check out my previous reactions, remember the playlist card will be at the top. Just click on it and you'll be able to access them. If you want to check out the original video as well as MK Ice and Fire's YouTube channel, remember the links are in the description below. Yes, last week was part three and uh, James Heller has gone, you know, looking out for um, <coughs> Father Guerra because the Gentech, or should I say Blackwatch, uh, were triangulating uh, where the, the particular hacker and informer is, you know, the one that's disrupting their operations and <coughs> who's helping out James Heller in, you know, disrupting everything that uh, Gentech is trying to do by experimenting with their new creatures. Yeah. So Gentech and Blackwatch triangulated that, you know, uh, Father Guerra is at the church. They started attacking the church. Uh, James Heller saved. Father Guerra, Guerra went to the safe zone, green safe zone. So that's where he is right now. Um, we still don't know who Athena is. Uh, we know that James Heller went to go and probably kill Dr. Cohen, but Dr. Cohen somehow convinced James Heller that he has a far larger and serious threat to deal with and that, you know, uh, he's been trying to help James Heller. He's been trying to save his life, you know, and I still don't trust him I still don't trust anything that this guy says. However, he does say that Gentech and Black Watch have created a new project called Project Orion and it's specifically designed or created to kill James Heller probably so uh, that's what Dr. Corin is saying uh, that James Heller has to deal with now this project, Project Orion and the scientists around, you know, dealing with this project. So, yeah. James Heller didn't kill Dr. Cohen. Dr. Cohen is still alive, he's still doing his things, whatever he's doing. And I guess we're gonna go and investigate this project, Orion. Okay, let's continue on with part four. Three, two, one, go. Not exactly. Got some bigger problems now. You heard of Project Orion? No. What is it? A bunch of super soldier mutants trying to hunt me down. Que hijo de putas. Be careful out there, James. I wonder how different these super soldiers are going to be to the ones that Alex Mercer has been fighting against in Prototype 1. Because those guys, they were strong, right? But they didn't have any weapons that were going to be much of a threat to Alex Mercer. Alex Mercer could simply just fight against them with his melee swords and he could defeat them. And the only thing the super soldiers had were their physicality. You know, they didn't have any weapons, high caliber weapons that could uh, be used against James Heller. So I wonder how different are these super soldiers going to be, uh, not James Heller, Alex Mercer, sorry. So I'm just wondering how different are they going to be you know, compared to the ones we saw in Prototype 1. Hmm. Alright, Doc, I'm at the facility. This place ain't exactly lightly guarded. As should be expected, if you take out those communication systems, they won't be able to call for reinforcements. This is Rambler 2-1. Hostile has destroyed Com Tower 1. Copy that. Tango is cleared hot. James Heller! You know who I am! Project Orion. 
Orion. All I care about Project Orion. You ripped my friend's limb from fucking limb, and now I can do the same thing to you. Okay, all right. Project Orion is one singular super soldier. Or <coughs> all right. I thought there were like multiple super soldiers, but it's just one. And it seems like he has a personal history with uh, James Heller. Somehow, like, you know, he, he just said that James Heller ripped his friends apart and now he's going to do the same to him. Um, I don't know. I don't have that kind of emotion or connection to Orion. Maybe the way the developers want us to have, you know. Because this guy just jumps in and is like, yeah, do you know who I am? Do you know, do you remember me? Do you know why I'm here? You know, it just doesn't have that impact. So maybe if he survives this uh, conflict with James Heller and he, you know, returns to base to recuperate, then <clears throat> we can have some sort of like a cinematic where Orion, you know, further broods himself uh, and becomes even more angry and, you know, he wants revenge against james heller and then you know they develop that kind of storyline between these two characters yeah but right now i just don't have any connection with him you know he this guy just jumped in so yeah hey Koenig, i thought you said project orion wasn't active yet that's correct yeah then what the fuck am i fighting right now oh dear this is not good <laughs> Orion is down. Take down the hostile. Well, that was very short lived. I thought maybe we would see him again or something, but nothing. His defeat was quite fast. Why did they give us a cinematic for him then? <laughs> Why did they give us that cinematic where he just jumps in and he starts having his few sentence lines with James Heller? Why? I mean, he, James Heller could have just fought him easily and that's it. You know, we, we wouldn't have to have this specific camera, you know, viewing of this man or this super soldier. So, yeah, that was a bit anticlimactic, I must say. Sabotaging the substation. Fix it, you fools. We can't lose this facility. Okay, so there's more Orions. All right, so it's not it's not just one. Hmm. How many of these assholes are there? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Guys, what's all this webbing? And what is that? That white thing there on the web. Wait, I think it's a human body. But... Ew. Okay, so that's how they now gonna keep up with the human super soldiers fighting against James Heller uh, Because with Alex Mercer, you know, they've been having a lot of of these super soldiers coming in and fighting against him So now in number two, they're busy cloning uh, a specific super soldier and just making a lot of copies of him and fighting against uh, James Heller, all right um, But yeah, they weren't really that interesting You know I mean, they're exactly the same like the ones that Alex Mercer was fighting against. You know, they're even using the same moves that he, uh, that they used in Prototype 1. You know, with the uh, grabbing him by the collar and, or by the chest and then bringing him closer, you know. And yes, they have the super speed and super strength and they can push things away from them once they're carrying that momentum. Uh, just like in number one. But... Yeah, nothing really interesting just a different makeover in terms of clothing uh they have pipes going around their necks and everything so yeah that's it they're just aesthetically different but you know they still use the same tactics the same moves um and yeah the same appearance like in number two uh, number one prototype one hmm. kind of disappointed about that though i must admit I must tell the truth here. I am kind of disappointed. I thought maybe they would, you know, change things up a bit, but it's okay. All right. This Dr. Burke said something about proving grounds. Find out what the hell he's talking about and get back to me. <laughs> These poor people. These poor people. Oh gosh. I still don't trust him. You my 
mind telling me exactly what these proven grounds are for? Those super soldiers you were fighting were only the first phase of the Orion project. Phase two was to fuse the existing serum with DNA extracted from, well, from you. What? Luckily, the samples were destroyed in the Orion facility, but they still had one successful Phase II soldier at the Proving Grounds. Not for long. I'm just wondering how will this one be any different, but let's see, let's see. They got going here. Remember, your primary target is the Phase Two Orion soldier. If you don't take him out, then Burke will be able to duplicate the soldier's DNA and continue his experiments. Trust me, he'll be the first to go. Take my blood with that. This is Rattler One. We've spotted Heller. Heller? No. Don't let him near the test subject. There's no use resisting. Piece of shit, you got my voice. It seems that phase two has a bit of power. I'm not sure what he, was he trying to do. He was looked like he was charging up something, and then he was going to try and attack James Heller. But I don't know. It seems like it failed. Hmm. If we lose that specimen, all of our work is for nothing. Kill the hostile now. What? You think you're better than me? Yeah, that guy to do. Jesus, he's still alive. Where's that goddamn Gen Tech capture team? That was cool. That was really, really cool. But the way he ripped apart the Phase 2 Orion Soldier, oh my gosh. <laughs> Just, ah, in two. Oh, nasty. Find evacuation necessary. Helmer, what's going on over there? I ate that Orion too, and then I exploded. That's biomass expulsion technology. You might be able to replicate the effects if you consume more biomass. Oh, my God. 
I need to be extracted immediately. Where's my protection? Don't worry about your protection, Dr. Burke. Don't worry. <laughs> Close to a big breakthrough, are you, Doc? More like a personal milestone. I've been observing Heller, taking the measure of his strength. Now I know exactly how to put him down. Put him down? Dr. Koenig, Koenig, what are you planning? Oh, it's nothing to fret over. I just... It's none of your concern, Commander. Don't try to think above your pay grade. Kearney, I'm gonna gut you like a fucking trout. Like I said, like I said, I don't trust him. Trying to get me killed. Now I'm gonna return the favor. Sergeant, please. If you'll just come back to the lab, I'm sure I can explain whatever misconceptions you might have. Sergeant! Sergeant! If you go back to that lab, you'll be in a trap. Um, yeah, I'm just advising caution on this. He's ready for you. transmission 255 days ago it's that man sarge definitely something moving inside it might be infected might be just a couple of hobos light it up we could check it pop the lock off the back fuck it this area is off limits light it up Sergeant Heller, why are you so cross? Have I done something to offend you? Drop the act, you lying sack of shit. You think you can play me like this? Well, I think I already have. Oh, God damn it! Burn that 
psychotic to a cinder. Really? This is your plan, Dr. Cohen? This? Blackwatch? Helicopters? Uh, guys with guns? Really? This is all you have? What do you think he's been doing the past three parts of the game? <laughs> no. You're gonna need more than this to kill me, Doc. Exactly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, James Heller. Until you eat his brains, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with these people, but they severely underestimate James Heller. What's going on? How can you guys be this arrogant in thinking that with your military equipment you can defeat him? Um, you know, they, they were going down the right path by creating the super soldiers as a deterrent against people like Alex Mercer and James Heller, right? However, they did not improve on it enough or fast enough. And they also didn't give them weapons that are capable of, you, you know, like disrupting or even damaging uh, um, uh, uh, creatures like James Heller and Alex Mercer. So I don't understand where, where this underestimation of James Heller is coming from. I mean, you guys know what this guy is capable of. Why are you doing this? Why are you just throwing men and equipment at him like this? <sighs> Holy shit! Target just whipped our toe off! Target just whipped our goddamn toe off! Dr. Koenig, do you copy? What is it, Commander? Red Crown has established your fallback location if something goes foobar with Heller. You'll be set up at base 7. But with additional security, I should hope. You'll have to take that up with Colonel Rooks, Doctor. What does foobar mean? Hmm. American military lingo. I some of it I don't get. <laughs> foobar. All right. Base seven, huh? Thinks he can hide from me. The music's nice. Attention all military personnel! I want this place locked down tighter than the head of a drum! Let's see if I can smoke this fucker out of his hidey hole. Look, Dr. Cohen is not funny, but this was funny. What he was saying here was funny. But he's nothing like Dr. Bellamy. He was the one. <laughs> he was the one. You know, with his attitude and, and talking over the radio. Dr. Cohen is trying, Shem. These guys look like regular soldiers. They don't really look like the Gen Tech or Black Watch people. Huh. Oh, I spoke too soon. All units, this is Rattler. We have a confirmed visual on the hostile. Approaching your group. That's him, Heller! Let your target kill him! All of you, kill him! Give up. 
up this pitiful attempt, Hella. Try to retain at least a shred of dignity. Do you think I ordered an attack ship to amuse myself? <laughs> yeah. oh, Dr. Koenig. <laughs> oh, this guy. Oh, gosh. Is he enjoying this? <laughs> Does he think that this is a game? Ah, oh, Dr. Cohen, oh gosh. Um, and yeah, like really, I, I honestly don't understand this guy, this doctor, I don't understand him. <laughs> mistaken about you and when he sees how flawed you are i'll be there watching while you die What? Okay, so <coughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm in, I'm in shock here. Okay, Doctor Cohen, Doctor Cohen is just like uh, James Heller, you know, being a hybrid, hybrid black light pathogen and human. Okay, so I'm wondering, did Alex Mercer, you know, convert Doctor Cohen first before he converted James Heller? You know, so. Uh, you know, Alex Mercer has two apprentices. He doesn't have just one. You know, like in Star Wars, the rule of two. You can only have one master and one apprentice. But it seems that uh, Alex Mercer has two apprentices here. And they're fighting against each other, trying to prove uh, which one is the better one. You know, I think that's what's going on here. Or, or Dr. Cohen made himself this uh, hybrid uh, creature just like Alex Mercer and James Heller and I don't know why is he trying to prove to uh, To Alex Mercer that you know, I am superior to your creation James Heller I, I don't understand that why does he need to care what you do? 
how how are you connected to him you know that's why i'm saying that maybe uh alex mercer first converted dr cohen and then he saw him as a failure or he saw him as someone that's not worthy of the power that he's given him or the gift if i can say it like that and that's when alex mercer went to james heller and gave him the gift <laughs> and and now <laughs> dr cohen is jealous that you know his master favors him more than uh, himself as Dr. Cohen. So yeah, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Where are you? Alex Mercer, please come here because <laughs> your children are fighting against each other. Laugh while you can. You are lacking, Sergeant. A brute. An animal. You are nothing. And I guess nothing's about to put you six feet under, Doc. wanna fuck him up uh yeah okay do this all day Kernick. only thing you're doing is stalling if you kill me mercer won't be pleased i'll worry about that after i've beaten you to death so you want to fight to the death then let us get on with it uh, dance on your corpse fucking drama queen like really he's he's funny he's really funny um so yeah it means that uh alex mercer and dr coring have a history and that's why i'm saying that maybe he was the first one he converted before james heller and now he's just jealous you know that james heller is now the favorite child or the favorite apprentice yeah <laughs> Finish him. You want me to beg, Heller? Is that what you want? I want you to shut up and die. I must say, Dr. Mercer, recruiting the Evolve from within Gentex ranks is a brilliant strategy. We're rocking through their power structure. Why, Sabrina Galloway is already in line for CFO. Then follow her example, Kernig. I'll need everyone in place to do what needs to be done in the green zone. Of course, sir. Heller! You know I should kill you. I needed Koenig, and you just took him out. Like swatting a fly. Well, maybe you should have told me you had more of us running around. Not to mention some batshit insane mad scientist, motherfucker. Well, now you know. We're in Gentech. We're in Blackwatch. Our eyes and ears are everywhere. You're building an army. And when there's enough of us, you and I will lead an attack that will wipe Blackwatch and Gentech off the face of the Earth. And the virus. What? The virus goes too, right? All of it. It's in the plan. Not long now. Be ready. Father. You need to come see me in the green zone. Athena's got some bad news. So do I. Mercer's been feeding us a line of bullshit. He's up to something. James, you do not know the half of it. I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm also kind of disappointed with Alex Mercer, you know. He's now becoming this warrior politician. Um, <clears throat> he's making excuses for creating this new hybrid army of his, you know, uh, 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 trying to make sure that Gentech and Blackwatch are defeated by making more uh, people like him, 
you know, he's not only now just a master and having two apprentices. He's having a lot of apprentices, you know. He's, ha he's having an entire cult following uh, uh, um, his authority and power. So, yeah, this is different. It's not the Alex Mercer from number one, definitely. This Alex Mercer, he, he has a taste for power. He wants to conquer things. He doesn't just want to stay in the shadows and... You know, maybe try to unseat the power of Gentech and Blackwatch. He wants to become power. He wants to have authority. He wants to lead people. Um, so yeah, this is a different Alex Mercer, definitely. It's not the Alex Mercer of Prototype 1. Um, yeah, and about the pathogen itself, he, of course he's lying. If he's been creating this army... Uh, you know, to, to infiltrate Gentech and Blackwatch, he could have toppled these two organizations, uh, you know, way earlier than what's going on right now. So he didn't. So this guy is bent on conquest, clearly. And he wants the pathogen to also be become part of his weaponry arsenal against uh, anyone that would try to fight against him. So yeah, I wonder what's his end, end game. After all of this, because I'm sure he knows that James Heller, James Heller knows that he's lying. But hmm, yeah, okay, it's interesting. It's interesting. Okay guys, that's it with Prototype 2 Gameplay Walkthrough done by MK Ice and Fire Part 4. Um, yes, uh, Dr. Cohen is no more. He has exposed himself as being one of Alex Mercer's agents. And, you know, he was part of, you know, the agents that Alex Mercer has created to infiltrate uh, Blackwatch as well as uh, Gentech. So... Yeah, it's just interesting to see that Alex Mercer has been very busy, very, very busy. He hasn't just been sitting, um, you know, hiding or creating new creatures. He's also been creating an entire army, his own personal army uh, that he's going to use not only against Gentech and Blackwatch, probably against all of humanity. Because like I said, he wants to conquer things. Uh, his ambitions have changed. Really, they've changed uh, from uh, Prototype 1. Where in Prototype 1, he focused mainly on the, finding out the truth about what happened to him and also uh, destroying Gentech and Blackwatch. But now in number 2, it seems that <coughs> he has left or abandoned that dream of his or, or, or mission. And now he's focusing on making more uh, hybrids just like him and also creating a society or an army, I should say, of people like him to take over New York and then probably the rest of the world over time. Um, so yeah, I'm disappointed in him. Not, not in the character as a whole, I'm just saying that I am disappointed in the way that Alex Mercer, you know, has become this person. I guess that saying of uh, you die early you, you become a hero or you live long enough to become a villain yeah something like that <laughs> that's exactly what's happening with alex mercer he's living too long 
he has so much power and he doesn't have that restraint he doesn't have the responsibility and now he wants to become something more than what he is so yeah hmm. disappointing um the super soldiers or superhuman soldier soldiers uh yeah they were also lackluster i expected more from them especially in number two um but they just used the same tactics and physicality to try and defeat james heller clearly it just doesn't work but yeah i wonder why gentech didn't you know make them more deadlier than what they were in number one but yeah i guess that's something that the game developers just wanted in prototype 2 um but yeah they should have improved on that enemy type really they should have but guys i guess that's it for today if you like my reaction please give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and remember if you want to check out the original video as well as mk ice and fire's youtube channel the links are in the description below until next week wednesday bye bye